Okay, church family, I, I have to gush for just a moment because you continue to surprise me in all sorts of big ways and, and small ways. You continue to surprise me. And I just, I just love you. I love being a part of our church family. So there was a moment in the room during when we were gathering uh, on a weekend where there was a very visceral or palpable excitement. You could feel it. And it came out of nowhere. And there are all sorts of moments in a church gathering that can lead to that. But you usually, I mean, maybe sometimes see it coming like baptisms or or a moment during worship maybe, or I don't know. But this moment was a little unexpected. I shared almost in passing on August 27th without any vision, without really any context that we are going to spend 12 weeks starting September 10th, leading up to the Christmas season and Advent. We're going to spend 12 weeks studying the Old Testament, Hebrew scripture, odd, obscure, quirky book of Ecclesiastes. And when I said the name Ecclesiastes without saying anything else, the room erupted and just a tangible sense of excitement and clapping for a 12-week study in Ecclesiastes. What is wrong with you? <laughs> or what is right? It is actually so beautiful. My friend who was visiting, his name is David, and he was visiting, helping lead worship that weekend. And he thought it was so funny and also so inspiring that there were a group of people that got that excited to study the scriptures and not just the nice places, not just getting excited about the beautiful moments in the Bible, but actually excited to go into some of the most obscure and grapple with even some of the most uncomfortable truth. And that's what Ecclesiastes is. It is, um, it is considered ancient wisdom literature. It's a different way of thinking, as you'll learn as we go through this study. And, and so here we go on September 10th. And I want to invite you into it and let you know on that day, when you show up to our church gathering, uh, we are printing enough. Um, what we're calling them is companion guides, uh, little notebooks that you can take with you into the gathering. And in the front of it, it's going to be a little bit of vision from our teaching team. Like, why in the world are we studying this together for 12 weeks? Uh, we're going to share some of that. There's going to be a full syllabus, welcome to fall and school season, laying out all of the passages, all of the texts that we are going to study from week to week so that this can live beyond just a Sunday morning, but you can take what you began to dive into and learn and wrestle with on a Sunday morning into your week. And you can also begin to read and prepare ahead of time for the weekend gathering to come so that we can hold space in our daily life for the word of God. And so each week there's going to be a page to take notes with a pen on paper. And I am just old school like that. I love it. And uh, because we're disciples, and, and I want, we want to continue to foster this mindset that a, this, the core to the identity of a disciple of Jesus isn't as much being inspired for an hour or two on a weekend uh, and then leaving, but actually if we're to enter into the first century mindset as disciples of a rabbi, we would hang on every word of that rabbi. And when I say rabbi in the word, I'm not talking about the preacher or the teacher on any given weekend, I'm talking about the Bible. When we study the scriptures together, uh, that we would grow in, in how seriously we take it, uh, that to the point that we are actually paying attention to what the Holy Spirit of God might be highlighting and writing it down so that we can take it into our week and continually ask ourselves, what is my response? God, what do you want to teach me? How do you want me to live in light of this? And so welcome to Ecclesiastes. And we just came out of a, a, just a three-week study uh, about neighboring. And what does it look like to live the way of Jesus out in our neighborhoods? And we talked about being a person of invitation and, and inviting people into our homes. Well, this series is a great opportunity actually to invite people 
who you sense might be ready to take a first step into a church family, to invite people to church. When's the last time you did that? And this is a, a great space through Ecclesiastes to do that because what it what this book of the Bible does, it is ancient wisdom that very simply said, it exposes the illusion as to what really doesn't matter at the end of life so that we can give our lives to what really does matter. So welcome to Ecclesiastes. Here we go. Uh, come ready to learn and grow together uh, on September 10th. And, uh, and also in this, uh, if you're reading this in the email format uh, below, we have a little update on the restoration plan that we're doing. And a lot of our staff who have been here over five years are taking sabbaticals. And so would love to invite you to continue to pray and think about those individuals who are in a season of radical rest, because after all, we are a community radically committed to spiritual formation for the sake of others. And that means that our commitment isn't just working really hard on the outside, but it's actually tending to our soul, which is deep on the inside. So God bless you, grace and peace, church family, and I can't wait to jump into this study with you.